I'm going to a monkey island. I'll put you back in the ocean. That was pretty cool. What's up, guys? So today we are in the uh, Imoki Island, up north in the in the Luna area. The boat of Kurt. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at this lady. What's she doing over here by herself? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at our favorite place. So this is our second time here at the Moki Island. So this place is like a hidden gem in the north in the northern parts of uh, La Union. Is it close to Luna? Well, yeah, the, I think it's in the north. This place is in Barangay Parwar. If you guys ever come here, this is a place that you guys must visit. So here, you have a bunch of like, shade cabanas. Uh, they're all free. So the entrance to this place is a 20 pesos per adult. The kids are free. Um, I think it's 11 and above, you have to pay 20 pesos as well. So it's not that bad. Can I get some snacks, okay? You stay here with the ates. Oh yeah, let's tell stories about the Yeah. We'll be right back. We have um, a bunch of like other small sellers here. I guess snacks hot dogs, fish balls. So if you do get hungry, you have a bunch of options here. And then of course there's this uh, little size size store, but they also have a restaurant there. Yeah, there's a little restaurant here that you can um, order stuff from if you're really Yeah, hungry. they have full meals here like long silog, corn silog, ham silog. It's a lot of silogs. So this is the little restaurant of here. Oh, actually, this is not a restaurant. This is a home. Never mind. You just have to bring your stuff by the cabanas over there, like the sheds. So in our previous video, we showed you guys where we get our seafood and vegetables. I think one of you guys commented um, no, why two, we haggle. Yeah. Or two of you guys. Two of you guys mentioned that, or like they were asking us like, why we even bother haggling when we know we are getting... Ah! We are getting a cheap price already. Compared um, to the price in Canada. Yeah. And, then, and if we're truly supporting the locals, they were saying, why were we haggling? So let me just tell you guys a story. One time we went to the mall and we bought a washer and dryer. Um, so those are two big purchases. And then when we came home, we were told that we could have asked for like a free electric fan or something, which is something that we need at home. Um, we didn't bother asking because we didn't know. And even if we knew, we would be too shy to ask. When my mom got here, she bought a dining set and then she got a freebie which was a rice cooker. So it's like, it's like a regular thing here that people do mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you ask for freebies. But people who live here know that that's like a thing and they do it. And I have another example. So when I, when I bought all the construction materials from um, my provider, for all the concrete, metal, nails, everything. They gave me some freebies. I didn't even ask for it. So I don't, we don't know how to ask for freebies, but you know. Yeah, but when other people are with us, like your mom or like the titas, they do it automatically just because it's like the thing here. And that's the freebie part. Yeah, so the other thing is when we go to wet markets and stuff like that, um, we typically get like a higher price compared to other people. We were told from our uh, titas that we're getting higher prices because uh, they know that we're not from here. 
you can tell right away we're not from here. So they increased the price. And the haggling is more like we just wanted to get um, the same price as everyone else. So it's not like we are trying to diminish the commission of the sellers. We truly 100% support the local suppliers, their local fishermen and everybody. We'd love to do that. We choose to drive to go to these local independent sellers as opposed to the big market. I hope we got that out of the way and I hope that's clear. So another example of a uh, of a freebie that I got was when I bought all my gym equipments, my Smith machine, my uh, my bike. So they actually gave me a free a freebie, and I didn't even ask. They gave me a boxing gloves to go along with my punching bags, and yeah. So that's just another example. So asking for freebies is not uncommon here. We don't personally ask for freebies everywhere we go because we just don't do that. Period. But when we're with our titas, our family members who know the ropes and the, the tricks here, they do all, they do all that stuff. Like, I just don't want you guys thinking that we are taking advantage of the local fishermen, all the, all the hard work that they're doing here. We're not taking advantage of them at all. We were just trying to get the price that everyone's getting. So it's low tide right now. Um, it's, it's not that. These boats are maneuvered by a person. The team is just waiting for the boat to arrive. Should be here soon, guys. Sky, you ready to ride the boat? You ready to ride the boat? Creatures here. So clear. That's a rock! Titanic! We're sinking! We hit a rock! We hit a rock! Oh my gosh! Now we get we get we hit that little rock right there. Oh the water feels nice. Okay, oh, our, our driver's good. So this is about like three, no, two feet. Like mid chin level. This area is like lagoons, right? And as you can see over here, and the water is so clear here. That's a seaweed. Oh, let's see the seaweed. Whoa, there's a bunch of them over here. Let's keep an eye out for a starfish. Oh, there's a starfish, guys. The waves are real. Yeah. The water feels so warm, so we can definitely water, swim. Yeah. There's a flying fish! Yeah, there's no flying fish. You don't know that there is some flying fish? They jump and then they look like a flying fish. They jump and then they look like a flying fish. Wow, the wind is... The air here is so fresh. There are okay. three lagoons in yeah, here. That's oh, Where? 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 So, so this is the first lagoon right here. When I came here back in June of last year, I jumped over there. So the first lagoon is about 12 feet deep. We might be able to uh, jump. This is the first lagoon. Oh, it's a the lagoon? Where are you from? May area ba pwede magbasa-basa like you know? Dito lang? O oh, dito? So you guys wanna go here? Yeah. So this is actually a good spot right here. Hi vlog, welcome to our guys. I mean, hi guys, welcome to our vlog. While the kids are swimming, 
We're going to take this opportunity to answer a couple of your questions. One of the questions was from, the name was Julie Ann Garcia. So the question was, um, hey guys, not sure if you already made a video about like there are days when you miss going to work. So the question was, um, do we get bored? What, em, Em's here. Oh, the answer to that is no, we, uh, we don't get bored. Me personally, I I'm still busy with YouTube and also when we are not editing or vlogging. There was always something to do here in La Union. Uh, there's always the next adventure we're looking for and this is one of them. No, we don't get bored here. We are still in the initial phases of building our home. There are still lots of things to do on our lot, uh, lots of cleaning up. By the way, our next project is building a tree house for Sky. So and a playground for Sky. Yeah, so we are super excited about that. And also, it's Sky's birthday next month, so that's keeping me busy, just trying to plan out what to do and stuff like that. So part of the question was, um, do you miss the grind, right? nine to five working? What do you do nowadays that you're no longer preoccupied with working 9 to 5 Monday to Friday sometimes Saturday here in a retired life in the province there's so much to do there's so much to see mountain areas there's like so many beaches and this is just in La Union our goal is to initially travel the whole Philippines and then live in different places months at a time so there, this is gonna be an endless adventure for all of us. So now that we are retired in the Philippines, we get to prioritize what really matters to us. And that is sky. Now that we have all the time in the world, we, have, we can spend as much time as uh, we want with Sky. Like, we get to see all her milestones, her developments. We're never gonna miss anything at all. Like, we're gonna be there every moment, every day. I don't miss the grind at all. I don't miss working 9 to 5. Uh, there's so much to do here in the Philippines, honestly. I feel like there's not enough hours in a day because there's just literally so many yeah. things. I feel like the key the key thing, you gotta have some sort of a hobby or something you're passionate about. And for us, we love adventures, we love seeing new things, we love just traveling, we love trying out new food. We are in the perfect place to do all of that. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched our one of our older vlogs. We came here a couple months ago. I remember the first time that I came here. I just kept saying like, wow, it's so amazing here. The water is so clear. I'm just gonna jump. So it's low tide right now and this is about three feet. It's really really shallow. That's why I feel confident swimming here because your girl doesn't know how to swim. Good thing Sky has water shoes because it's very rocky over here. Hey, you got the nice water shoe. <laughs> Whoa, that was fun. I'm going to jump one more time. I'm going to jump one more time. Did you see Daddy jump? Yeah. I'm going to hit a rock. So we got here around 2.30 and it was a bit hot when we came here but once you come to this lagoon area where a lot of people are swimming i think this is the first lagoon then you get some shade from the rocks and it's actually pretty nice like the water is it's not super cold like it's super duper nice and since it's low tide then you can actually bring the kids so you can bring the kids and they can swim here um, it's just a nice place to relax and this is about 10 minutes away from our house so that's a plus Whoa. she's got a shell on her, in her, on her nose we have a substitute driver <laughs>
that something? Oh, stop fish! Oh, I'm gonna eat the other part. The other part. Whoa! This is a legit living starfish. Alright, I'll put you guys, I'll put you back in the ocean. Okay. Do what do what starfish does. Just be still in the ocean and do your thing. That was that was really cool. Starfish all over the place here. Look at that. The the sun's about to go down. Simple life. Yeah. Simple life. Yeah. Simple life. Yeah.